This overgrown patch in the backyard has probably the best soil on the farm. It's been uh, prepared for about three years, lots of bark, lots of worm castings mixed in. And this last season, I planted about 20 to 25 roses in this little patch. And those roses that I put in were a mixture of ones that had been growing in pots already that I bought at nurseries, and ones that I had ordered um, or bought in certain stores that came bare-rooted. Now, the majority of the ones that I planted in this area that were bare-rooted have died, and these were the tags left behind from those. This one here managed to survive, but you can see its size difference compared to one that I bought in a pot already. Now these are the same age, put in just this last season, and there's already a huge difference. So the main problem is even though this is an area where these roses want to grow, the bare root roses need more shade when they're first put in the ground or first pot up. And the, the light levels that they want when they're first potted is not the same compared to what they want when they're, they're established. And so you can't just put bare root roses straight into the location that you want. They'll end up dying and you'll make the same mistake that I did. These 20 roses were also bought bare root this last season. Um, however, these ones were put into a pot instead of straight into the ground. They were put in the shade to get those uh, fine hair roots established. And I've only just moved these into the sun yesterday. So they're a bit wilty today. Otherwise, these are all really uh, going quite well. Now, one of the benefits of buying a bare root rose is the price. These were about half the price of going to a specialty nursery to buy um, the roses already established in pots. So if you're not time constrained, a bare root rose is a good option. Plus, um, you've always got the added benefit of taking cuttings from the plants in the pots and then selling the pots on to effectively get some free roses.